we can continue to the last paper that we are gonna cover when it comes to semi-supervised learning. This is very recent. The idea is data efficient image transformers. So far we were using convolutions for images. There is no reason to use convolutions. There are actually papers that use transformers to do image classification and to process images. There is this paper, VIT, Vision Transformer, that we cover in part one of the course. The idea there is you take an image and then uh, you look at 16 by 16 windows of that image. You take perhaps a 20, 224 by 224 pixel image, and then you're gonna turn that into non-overlapping patches. It's gonna give you 14 by 14 patches, and each patch is 16 by 16. Those 16 by 16 patches, you are gonna have 196 of them, which is 14 by 14. That's gonna give you a sequence of patches. Each one of them is uh, 16 by 16 dimensional times three. Now that you have a sequence of image patches, this should remind you of transformers because they are good at processing sequences. Previously, we were using them to process sequences of tokens when it came to text. Here you are processing sequences of image patches. And Vision Transformer is trained on JFT data. This is a private data set from Google. It has 300 million images in it. And to put things into perspective, ImageNet has around 1 million images. So it is 300 times bigger. They were using JFT 300 million. And the idea was transformers are less data efficient compared to, uh, compared to convolutions, perhaps because they lack the inductive bias encoded in convolutions. Convolutions are locally stationary. If you take an image, shift it to the right, they're gonna classify it the same. So they are invariant to such translations. These are absent from a transformer model. This paper came along and said, we can actually make them data efficient, make transformers data efficient and use only ImageNet data. This is Vision Transformer Large. This is another version of Vision Transformer. This is the accuracy that you're gonna get out of, uh, out of data efficient image transformers. This is EfficientNet, one of the best uh, architectures these days. And this is date with some modifications. And what is that? These are models that are trained with a transformer specific distillation. And I'm gonna tell you what that is. First, let's start with this dash line, the lower one. And then we are gonna cover the red dash line. And I'm gonna explain what is transformer specific distillation. First of all, you need to fix the positional encoding. What do I mean? Usually when it comes to CNNs, you train on a lower resolution version of the image, perhaps 224 by 224, and then you evaluate at test time on higher resolution versions of the same image, perhaps 256 by 256. Can you do the same thing with transformers? The answer is yes, but you need to be careful with positional encodings. If you want to keep the image patches to be still 16 by 16, it means that a higher resolution image is gonna end up giving you a longer sequence. And if you have a longer sequence, you need to adapt your positional encodings because your positional encodings, you have 196 of them. Now you need to process more. What happens in the position in between, perhaps, a positional encoding at location one and, and location two, there is another position in between, you're gonna do interpolation to obtain that position. How do you get this performance out of a vision transformer? You do a lot of data augmentation. You do RAND augment, auto augment, you do mix up that we covered. Cut mix is similar to mix up where you cut a portion of another image, patch it into another image, and then you adjust the corresponding label. You do erasing, erase some portions of your image. Modify your architecture, do a stochastic depth, do multiple augmentations, remove dropouts, and remove exponential moving average. And this is the way that you're gonna get up here. How do you get uh, 
up there and surpass the performance of uh, efficient nets, you're going to do the distillation. What is distillation? You pick a convolutional neural network. This is a strong image classifier. And there is some knowledge encoded in that convolutional neural network. Let's transfer that knowledge to vision transformer. How would you do it? When it comes to vision transformers, you have a classification token. Here are where you have image patches. They're going to go in your neural network. Add a distillation token. This is a specialized token. Initialize it randomly. Push this sequence through the layers of your transformer. Get the predictions. The first head is going to do classification. It's going to do cross entropy. The other head is learning from the teacher, is learning from your convolutional neural network. How would you do it? You can do soft distillation, which is you add this extra term. In addition to cross entropy, you are going to minimize the KL divergence between the teacher and the student. Psi is a softmax function, tau is a temperature, and this is the usual knowledge distillation. You look at the logits of the student and the teacher, and if you use soft distillation, the student is not only learning from the images that the teacher is correctly predicting, it is also learning from the mistakes of the teacher. This temperature is helping it magnify those mistakes. You can also do hard distillation, which is you take the R max of the predictions of the teacher and turn those predictions into one hot vectors. And then give those as labels to the distillation token or distillation head. And this way, you are able to increase the performance of date. It's a vision transformer and it's doing even, even better than convolutions. But to do so, you have to do a lot of data augmentation and you need it to seek help from a teacher, which is a convolutional neural network. I think I'm gonna stop here. For those of who have questions, I'll be around.